I'd like to welcome you along to this webinar from the Computer Information Agency. My name is Robert Crane. Um, today we'll be looking at the integration of SharePoint with Microsoft Office. If you have any comments or feedback uh, after the event, please feel free to email me directly using the email address you see on your screen there, director at ciaops.com. You can also find out more about my business at the website www.ciaops.com. So with that, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I need to check is make sure that everybody can hear me. Um, if we're having issues with audio, you can select to change your feedback um, from green to red. Um, if everybody turns red, then I know that I have a problem. Uh, if I don't, then I will happily continue. If you do get any issues during the webinar, um, unless it affects everybody, I will have to continue to proceed on. So it doesn't appear from what I can see that we have any audio issues, so that means that we're right to start. So just a bit of housekeeping first. Um, if you're into Twitter, please feel free to Twitter any comments to hash CIAOps. Um, my tw Twitter handle is Director CIA. You'll receive some information about receiving um, a resource guide at the end of this webinar. Uh, basically, you will be sent an email that will ask for some feedback, uh, 10 questions or so. Once you've had filled this out and provided an email address, I will send you along uh, an information sheet about SharePoint. So this is our agenda for today. What we will look at is a number of Microsoft Office technologies working with SharePoint. So we'll have a look at Word, Excel, Outlook, OneNote and Access. And then we'll cover off some conclusions. So firstly, let's turn our attention to Word. Uh, one of the major advantages of using Word and SharePoint is that it supports the ability to check in and check out documents. So it gives you a basic document management facility. Again, by default, these are not this functionality is not normally turned on, but it can be enabled. SharePoint also provides you with the ability to version, which means that every time that a file is checked out and updated, a previous version can be saved on the system. This allows you to roll back to a previous good or known version of the document. Um, allowing you to overwrite any mistakes or changes that you may not wish to have. Again, this is not enabled by default, it needs to be turned on. You need to be aware that obviously with versioning, uh, sometimes the space capacity under SharePoint becomes very important. Obviously, if you're keeping not only a copy of each document, but also a version for every time it's changed, you need to be aware of the space requirements. SharePoint also provides the ability for support for document approvals. This means that once a file is checked out and then goes to be checked in, before it can be made available to all the other users on the system, it has to be approved by a manager. So basically they can then be informed that a email, via an email, that they need to approve a document. Once they approve the document, it then becomes available for all other users on the system. So this is a very good way of controlling what actually gets rolled out to users. The other thing that we can implement in Word is through SharePoint is something called required fields. So in Word, we can uh, require additional metadata to be saved with the Word document. So Metadata is simply information that is not necessarily part or seen within the document, but allows you to more easily classify and work with the document. So we'll see examples of this. So let me just switch over to the SharePoint site here, and we'll get a better feel for what we're talking about with Word. So. This is the basic SharePoint site. Okay, Again, it's in Windows SharePoint Services, which is the free version that comes from Microsoft. As you can see, I've got the basic tabs across the top, the quick start down, the left-hand side, some information in the middle. 
I'm logged on as the administrator, so some of the features such as the site actions that you see up here will appear because I'm an administrator. If I log in as a normal user, then some of these items may not be available. So let's go over here and look at the document library. So if we click over here into a document library, which I have called policies, inside this document library, what you'll find is a number of Word documents, PDFs, and basically you can put in any style of document that you wish. So again, to open a document, uh, obviously we need the application on the machine that we're working on. So I can just simply click on the document. It will open the document, ask me for a login and a password again, because I'm working on a single machine, which is a server, it will prompt me for a password. Now you can see the document's open, I have read access to it, I can print it, I can do all the basics. But you'll notice up here that an additional banner has appeared indicating that the document is a server document. This indicates that the document has come from a SharePoint server and requires the ability to be checked out before I can make any changes to it. So to do that, if I now click on check out, I'm now prompted to say that when I'm editing offline, it will save a copy in a folder on my machine called SharePoint Drafts. And as you can see, this is normally in the Documents and Settings, My Documents, SharePoint Drafts. So now I accept that and I can now work on this document, uh, make any changes that I want, um, do whatever's required. Now, if I just switch back to my SharePoint site, You'll notice now that the little icon that indicates that document now has a little green area indicating that that document is checked out. What this means is that the document can still be taken um, by other users but only in read-only mode. So they can still open it, they can print it, but obviously they still can't work uh, they can't make changes to the document. You'll notice over here under approval, approval status, which I have turned on in this case, that at the moment, because I've checked it out, it's now in draft. This means that before it can be checked back in totally for use by all users, it needs to be approved by a manager. So going back to our document, so I've made some changes to this document um, and what I'll do now is I will exit Word, close it down. Obviously what I need to do is to save the changes, so I select yes. Now, because I have check in and check out enabled, it, it prompts me with the message that other users cannot see the work until I check it in. So what I want to do now is I've finished editing the document, I do want to check it in for other users, so I select yes. Now as you can see, the I'm now prompted with whether I'm inserting a major or a minor version. So I can select a major version. I have changed section one and put some comments in there and then save. Uh, Word closes down and if I now go up and refresh the SharePoint page, you'll see that the document is no longer checked out.